Now, when Kenya experienced her first ever attempted military coup, you remember it took place in 1982, a merciless swoop happened within and also outside of the Kenya Air Force barracks. Every military officer was presumed suspect until proven otherwise. Colonel Karumba Waithaka, now retired, was one of those netted and detained for three months. Nisi Imano visited that retired colonel and filed the following report for this week's episode of Military Tales. At 3 a.m. Sunday, the 1st of August 1982, a group of soldiers from the Kenya Air Force took over Isli Air Base in the outskirts of Kenya's capital city, Nairobi. In efforts to contain the situation, the government at that time arrested and detained majority of the Air Force soldiers. The entire force was at that time considered guilty until proven otherwise. Yutakas Karumba Waithaka was among those arrested on that day. Fortunately, it happened when I was on leave mm -hmm. in Nyeri. I couldn't can get back and I had to surrender myself to the police. So we were brought to commit prison and it's at night. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were all put in the maximum uh, prison jail uh, and forgotten. Waithaka had wanted to join the military from his childhood, but his interest rose exponentially during his days as a student at Kagumo High School. When I was there, I started seeing aircraft, military aircraft flying over our school, and I kept saying someday I will get into these military aircraft. On completion of high school in 1970, he qualified to pursue medicine at the University of Nairobi, but chose to move to the city in search of job opportunities. One cousin took me in. Unfortunately, or fortunately, he used to stay in Madare, uh, just next to the Air Force. Eventually, Waidaka's luck came in 1974. So I actually tried in 1973. I went to AFTC and I was not successful. Then, uh, and I was told that uh, it's my finger, my two finger that was bad. Uh, but I didn't give up. The following year, 1974, and my toe was the same. I tried again and I got him. Yutekas Waidaka joined the military in 1974 and was commissioned in 1975 by His Excellency the late President Jomo Kenyatta. I got a parchment which is signed by him. Really, I consider it to be a very important document. Waidaka then joined the Laikipia Air Base Ground Attack Squadron. I flew the Strike Master. That strike master then the fleet was then sold later on and those were fist off. He then applied to be transferred back to Moi Air Base Sili to the Air Transport Squadron. And I was uh, engaged in uh, cargo during the early years and uh, soldiers to transport soldiers from here including them the, the army. Waidaka was then assigned to fly VIP aircrafts and flew the late president Arab Moi. In transport, you start with category D, which is just carrying cargo. You can't carry a soul. And then from there, I progressed to carrying passengers. That's category C. And then a B and a A are for the VIPs. It was after the attempted coup of 1982 and Waidaka's subsequent detention and release that changed his mind about his future in the Defence Force. And I must say that that is my first time I started real thinking about uh, what I can do uh, when I left the Air Force or if something ever, ever happened. Shortly after the coup, Waidaka was displaced. The headquarters needed to reorganize the Air Force, uh, but then setting it up uh, in structures, uh, functional structures like uh, uh, should we have the technical wings, should we have uh, you know flying wings, uh, supply wings, that was redone and I was one of the team members of the, uh, the structures. Waidaka found himself in administration and although he knew his place was in the flying of aircrafts, he was reluctant to leave his new administrative duties. I could see I'm uh, going to leave gaps 
and uh, making sure that the Air Force is based well, founded well, was also an important duty because you're actually doing something good for flying. After 23 years, he voluntarily resigned from the military. My interest was always to fly transport. Now here I am being a, a commanding officer who sits only in the office. Really is because I wanted to get back to uh, strict aviation duties. He then went ahead to be the CEO of Kenya Association of Air Operators. During my stay as uh, the CEO, we made sure that uh, in the regulations we established a dispute resolving uh, organization. I helped resolve over 12, 15 cases that uh, had been stuck. Colonel Utica Swaidaka has a lot in his bag of achievements. In the 49 going 50 years, he has been in the aviation world. Top on that list would be his participation in the founding of the first ever Kenyan air park, the Ole Air Park in Kajiado County. Reporting from Karen in Nairobi County, Amnesty Emano.